Hey friends, welcome back to Mini Kit Monday. This is Kit Reveal Day 4, February 2021. And I got to choose the inspiration this month, which makes it kind of fun. Like I chose it um, well over a week ago and now I'm pulling my kit. I don't pull the kit and match it to it. I just, oh, this is pretty. And then I kind of go with it. So we have a recipe challenge and a mood board for inspiration. You do not have to use any of these things in, as inspiration. Pull your kit, do you, do whatever you want to do. However, I'm trying to keep away from getting that glare. However, I think it's fun to grab a little inspiration along the way. Now, my colors are ishy to this, but the feel is kind of lovey and valentiney and all of that. So here's my mood board. Great. But now let me tell you what our our recipe challenge is. And of course, I just had it up and it just went away. Okay, let me grab it again. All right, so we have to have a mini paper pad. And a lot of you guys know that I have a um, mini paper pad course going on right now. So I'm just kind of going with it because this is my year to kill off some of my paper pads. Most of them, all of them, a lot of them, I don't know, but I'm really going at them. So I went to my paper pad, Ridiculous Towering Stack, and this was the next one that was on there. I'm not thinking too hard on it, but it did hit my criteria for being a bit of a lovey heart kit for February. Not a Valentine's Day kit, I promise, but <sighs> I'm talking super quickly. So when I grabbed this, I actually had to open it up. So I purchased it. Looks like in June of 19 from Tuesday morning, and then I never used it. So, I mean, we have some die cut bits, two pages of them, some, I'm sorry, some uh, detail cutting pieces, fuzzy cut, whatever. More here. I like the love words. That works for Valentine's, but also works for any time. Cute little Valentine's piece there, little squares. So, you guys know hearts are one of the things that we have in there. Look at how cute that camera is. So really, really pretty papers. So I think this is like an eight by eight. I'm thinking, is it eight by eight? It seems eight, yeah, it's an eight by eight pad. So it's a mini paper pad still, eight by eight. I haven't used any of it. This is almost black. It's like that navy black. Some nice wood grain. Now these little guys, I'm more likely to detail cut them out than use the page. Lots of hearts on this one lovey script words there. This I might map photos on. It's just not my jam. More lovey words here. Clearly black and white or black hearts on white and a really nice daffodil yellow. So awesome. That's my paper pad. Now for my two plus alphas, I pulled this one and I do have several of the same kind. This one's almost shot. Then I go to the next one, go to the next one. You know how you do that. This one's called Marquee. It's a th thicker set. It is um, glitter chipboard letter sticker, but you don't get the fallout on this set. So that's kind of awesome. And it's from 2017 American Crafts. So I have, that's my number one. And this is my number two. These, oh, I bought in February of 2020. They're called Twilight and they are just black foam and they're lovely because you don't have to use separate adhesive to get them on. Awesome, and then Puffy Anything. So I went to my little Puffy section. I figured these were a super safe bet, right? They're just white and gold and it's, it's kind of a nice like subdued gold. It's not a super yellow gold. We've got some hearts in there and extra tiny little bits. So that is good for the Puffy Anything. I'm going to have to kind of go like this. So let's do this. Puffy anything. And then wood veneer. That was kind of cool. Went to my wood veneer bin and found these. These are one canoe two Saturday afternoon. And I was kind of digging on the vibe of these two together. So I'd love to be able to use a few. We don't really have bicycle pictures right now, but I bet I can get a few of these little pieces on. I think they're really, really sweet and cute. And I also like that they're a little bit of a darker wood veneer than normal. Awesome. And then finally, hearts. So when it came to hearts, now we know we have a lot of them in here. I do have some hearts in my puffy bits. And then I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these Chamel Glitter Girl uh, enamel, well, they're called enamel dots. They have hearts up top. And I have 
a few in each color left. So I'll concentrate on them before I use the bits down below. And then this set by Jelly Bean Soup, they're a lot more subdued, but the whole top section is hearts. And these are like super glossy and these have glittery bits. So I have a lot going on for differences there. I feel like I'm racing. There's no reason to race people. Okay, so the next thing I did is I'm like, okay, now I need some 12 by 12 backgrounds, right? Kind of did it opposite day of the way I normally would. So the way I am, <laughs> I'm in my upstairs craft room. I, well, I don't know if I'll ever be fully moved upstairs. So I like to use what's in here. So I grabbed three different pieces from Coco Vanilla Daydream. And these were sent to me from the Scrapbook Your Joy, um site they I was a guest designer for them at one point and these colors in here work really really nicely with the colors that are in this paper pad so I was pretty excited about combining the two of them so let me put it like this so I was digging that right so this kit's coming together really really well love that got my big old paper pad here now the, I still have all kinds of stuff that came with that collection and I'm going to sneak it into the kit. Now this will be my main kit and this is my sub kit where I keep trying to find more pieces to fill out my layouts. So I mean I have some scraps. I know that's super professional isn't it? So I'm not going to yank out the scraps but let's take a look at the embellishments and stuff. Oh there's a paper pad in there as well but we're going to ignore it. We already have our paper pad. Oh and see this scrap right here? There is a piece here that has some really great pieces I can detail cut out as well. But like I said, I'm going to ignore that there's a paper pad in there. Just go like that. The um, Coco Vanilla, at least this collection, the paper pads don't have the gluey bits on it. So I just throw a mouse purse on it real quick. All right, so I'm going to kind of leave those alone. I know they're there, but you know, not giving them a ton of do. Now I also have this sticker sheet. I've used I'd say a good third of it, but these will be cool. Bringing in some more of the navy and that will work. I have a bunch of the sequins from the sequin mix. So that's always pretty to put little sparkly bits on. I have one cute little piece of flare left. It reads, you are my sunshine. And then I have this title pack here which I'm concentrating on the alphas first before I come to this. That's how I like to do my kits. Like this is my secondary kit and my recipe is my first part of my kit. But I know I've used only a couple of these. And then finally I have, I would say about a third of the ephemera left. I used a ton of this when I was designing with it because it's super pretty and easy to use. But that's what it originally had. And I have bits and pieces of it left. So... That will be my mini kit Monday kit. We have three Mondays to design in. So let me show you. We'll just go ahead, pull way out. Sorry, you're seeing some of my shirt. And I'll put it in my Ikea container, pronounced once again, F-J-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. And I use these because it really helps to kind of organize my supplies. I get to see what I have without it overwhelming me. Like I. It kind of stays in its own little spot till I call it forward. And I dig that. So paper pad goes in here. Once I start having scraps, I'll flip it upside down so they stay in. But for now, that's fine. I can put this piece right back here. I've got my sequins. They have a nice little spot to rest. And then finally, my three backgrounds, which is all I'm grabbing for 12 by 12s. Now, I'm looking at these sides first. But I will not ignore that these backsides are absolutely gorgeous. And we'll see what we use as we use them. Okay, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll have the links down below for all the other Mini Kit Monday designers as well. Okay, that's it for today, friends. Bye-bye.